everyone. I am here at the Bible reading. I hope you guys are having a good night. Tonight we are going to be reading Romans chapter 11, verses 13 through 36, Psalm 22, verses 1 through 18, and Proverbs chapter 20, verse 7. We get on the Romans and we'll see what we're talking about tonight. We'll be continuing on, of course, and then we'll be discussing all Israel will be saved and the doxology. And this will be Paul speaking in Romans tonight. I am talking to you Gentiles inasmuch as I am the apostle to the Gentiles. I take pride in my ministry in the hope that I may somehow arouse my own people to envy and save some of them. For if their rejection brought reconciliation to the world, what will their acceptance be but life from the dead? If the part of the dough offered as first fruits is holy, then the whole batch is holy. Holy, sorry. If the root is holy so are the branches if some of the branches have been broken off and you though a wild olive shoot have been grafted in among the others and now share in the nourishing sap from the olive root do not consider yourselves to be superior to those other branches if you do consider this you do not support the root, but the root supports you. You will say then, branches were broken off so that I could be grafted in. Granted, but they were broken off because of unbelief. And you stand by faith. Do not be arrogant, but tremble. For if God did not spare the natural branches, he will not spare you either. Consider therefore the kindness and sternness of God. Sternness to those who fell, but kindness to you, provided that you continue in his kindness. Otherwise, you also will be cut off. And if they do not persist in unbelief, they will be grafted in, for God is able to graft them in again. Because God is able to forgive us as many times as He wants to. After all, if you were cut out of an olive tree that is wild by nature and contrary to nature, were grafted into a cultivated olive tree, how much more readily will these the natural branches be grafted into their own olive tree. I do not want you to be ignorant of this ministry, brothers and sisters, so that you may not be conceited. Israel has experienced a hardening in part until the full number of the Gentiles has come in. And in this way, all Israel will be saved, as it is written, the Deliverer will come from Zion. He will turn godlessness away from Jacob. And this is my covenant with them when I take away their sins. As far as the gospel is concerned, they are enemies for your sake. But as far as election is concerned, they are loved on account of the patriarchs. For God's gifts and his call are irrevocable. Just as you, who were at one time disobedient to God, have now received mercy as a result of their disobedience, so they too have now become disobedient in order that they too may now receive mercy as a result of God's mercy to you. For God has bound everyone over to disobedience, that he may have mercy on them all, on us all. 
Jew and Gentile alike. Black, white, Chinese, Asian, all of us alike. All of us alike. He doesn't love any one of us more than the other. For he made us all and made us all the way he wants us to be. So if he made us, he loves us. And he loves us all the same. The doxology. Oh, the depth of the riches, the wisdom and knowledge of God. How unsearchable is his, how unsearchable his judgments and his paths beyond tracing out. Who has known the mind of the Lord? Or who has been his counselor? Who has ever given to God that God should repay them? For from him and through him and for him are all things. To him be glory forever. Amen. Amen. All right, guys, and that was our Romans reading today. So that's where we're stopping. And now we're going to do the first part of Psalm 22, which is verses 1 through 18, for the director of music to the tune of the Doe of the Morning, a Psalm of David. a good one too. I love David's songs. Love them. Okay. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Why are you so far from saving me? So far from my cries of anguish? My God, I cry out by day, but you do not answer by night, but I find no rest. Yet you are enthroned as the Holy One. You are the one Israel praises. In you our ancestors put their trust. They trusted and you delivered them. To you they cried out and were saved. In you they trusted and were not put to shame. But I am a worm and not a man, scorned by everyone, despised by the people. All who see me mock me. They hurl insults, shaking their heads. He trusts in the Lord, they say. Let the Lord save him. Let him deliver him, since he delights in him. Just about like they did when Jesus was on the cross. Right? Yet you brought me out of the womb. You made me trust in you, even at my mother's breast. From birth I cast on you. From my mother's womb you have been my God. Do not be far from me, for trouble is near, and there is no one to help. Many bulls surround me. Strong bulls of Bashan encircle me. Roaring lions that tear their prey open their mouths wide against me. I am poured out like water, and all my bones are out of joint. My heart has turned to wax. It has melted within me. My mouth is dried up like a potsherd and my tongue sticks to the roof of my mouth. You lay me in the dust of death. Dogs surround me. A pack of villains encircles me. They pierce my hands and my feet. All my bones are on display. People stare and gloat over me. They divide my clothes among them and cast lots for my garments. Now, who's this song sound like it's about? Jesus. Jesus. Listen to the last part again, and you'll know. 
A pack of villains encircles me. They pierce my hands and my feet. All my bones are on display. People stare and gloat over me. They divide my clothes among them and cast lots for my garment. Talking about Jesus. All right, guys, that is um, where we're stopping with Psalm 22 today. And ending today's Bible reading is Proverbs chapter 20, verse 7. And it says, The righteous lead blameless lives. Blessed are their children after them. The righteous lead blameless lives. And blessed are their children after them. Yeah. All right, guys. That was our Bible reading for tonight. I hope it touched your hearts. I hope you guys have a great rest of your night. Let's bring those souls to Jesus, and God willing, we'll see you guys again tomorrow with another Bible reading. Bye, guys. God bless.